So I had a thought a little bit ago. Welcome to Vlog 2. I was listening to a uh, podcast the other day, like two days ago. Uh, the short version of that story is I was listening to Denise Salcedo's wrestling podcast. If you haven't, she's on whatever, like Amazon, Stitcher, whatever. Um, and the thing she was saying, or the phrase that caught my ear when she was really talking about uh, Indy Hartwell getting called up to the main roster was this phrase where it said, uh, don't be sad because it happened or because it ended. Smile because it happened. And it hit me a little bit. I was like, huh. I hadn't thought about that. And in my current context, that makes a lot more sense to me. Um, I think I spent a lot, way too much time, actually, uh, throughout the majority of my life. And most people that I know do. Like, no one's immune from this idea that we spend way too much time, and my friend Christian was saying this too, uh, talking or thinking about the future or getting lost in the past and really just not enjoying the moment, like the thing that's going on. And that is true. What I know now is that I'm never going to be able to duplicate the joy I felt uh, the second half of last year till tragedy struck. Like my birthday's never going to be as magical. My Christmas is not going to be as unforgettable. Like I might end up with different joys somewhere down the line uh, or have a, and I've had only a handful of like actual times I've gotten to celebrate my birthday. And all of them are memorable. Like all of them are like, you know, a story to tell but it won't be like that like it won't be uh, you know blowing out candles and eating meatloaf cupcakes it won't be it won't be there it won't ever be that cool again and while I'm really heartbroken about the whole thing like to the point where I was I felt like I was probably uh, probably letting go of the rope a little bit I can honestly be happy that it happened. It should have happened a lot earlier and it should have happened for way longer. Um, and maybe it should have been permanent, but what is though? Like what, like the only, and this is a, a, a hard pill to choke down but the only constant in the world really is just that everything's going to change. Like you, that's what I, what's one of the things I learned out of this situation. I think I said it in the last video. I think I learned every time somebody that I'm close to dies, there's a lesson to be learned. Um, none of the lessons are good as far as like it's see it's moments like this where I get what my dad's always been telling me that like I'm going to tell you about this thing like I'm going to give you this piece of advice for free because you don't want to have to pay for it and a lot of the lessons I've learned with people close to me that have died is literally paying for the lesson like it's not even the cost is too high I would like to not have learned when Rooster died that in the midst of the worst thing possible a person can be can still be a leader and still be humble I I don't want to didn't even learn that lesson I learned it I wasn't happy about it because I'd rather have Rooster here today uh, laughing and you know hanging out and being a cool dude uh, when Sammy died I probably the lesson I learned from that was that you can never like you think you got your life figured out and you think that you that you can be indispensable and that, that 
that, you know, everything should always be okay, and it isn't, and that when it isn't, you have to adjust. I don't want to have learned that lesson either. But what I can look back on those lessons and say is that I'm happy to have known Rooster since like middle school and, and grown up with him and saw that he was cool and uh, and spent time in theater with him and really not that this was ever and anybody that knows Ryan Walker will tell you this the things I saw him do when we were in college together like taking time out for people or, or uh, really sitting down with them when they were feeling bad not to say that any of the people that I know that have died were perfect but they were most of them were better than me I think mean, all of them probably better than me in, in certain aspects of their lives like they were like the thing that I, that reminds me of Nalana in that situation is this they both would and it wouldn't be out of their way for them but they would be the friend they wanted to be to other people and I know I get I like to think that I do that but I know I don't I don't I don't think on it the way that Nalana did when I read some of the things that she wrote or listen to her uh, talk about her friends like she thought about that like she was she was conscious of it like she was probably the most a mostly self-aware person I've ever met especially at that age like if I had had her emotional maturity when I was 19 I do my whole life would be better the lives of most of the people around me probably would be better. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it, vlog. That's what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to do another one tomorrow. We're going to keep doing it until we're not doing it anymore, which will probably be when the internet goes down or whatever. All right. Bye.